<laughs> Welcome to Grooms on Grooms. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yes, thank you for joining us here on Twitch or YouTube, depending on where you're watching. Uh, if you are watching on Twitch, and I see you again, uh, it's been all of 15 minutes. If you're watching on YouTube, whole new day. Like, subscribe, don't forget. Uh, and we're going to do a quick recap for those of you that are on YouTube, just to make it easy on you. Uh, first, let's just quick hello to Mr. Mark. Hey. Before I forget, Miss Lisa. Hello. Miss Saren. Hi. Hi. And Mr. Calvin. Hey. And. <laughs> Mr. Calvin. Oh, yeah! yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, back, back to normal. Okay, so, uh, last time we had uh, our heroes meet uh, the other Victor as a page fell from the sky after the sun split. Uh, in the meantime, as this was going on, Zarek was getting kind of tossed around with no idea where he's going, losing track, and ending up just freezing until the captain eventually got sick of it and said, I will get us somewhere warm. While well, he went to bed and didn't really wake up in a eight hour period or at least it didn't feel like it as he tasted something funny in his mouth like he was drugged he yeah. noticed all of his stuff was taken the captain was gone the cats were gone anything of any value on that ship was gone he was basically just abandoned but at least he was relatively warm he did however stumble upon an animal in the woods that looked as if it had been attacked by something that didn't even really need the food or didn't feel like finishing it but on an uh uh I think it was an insight or an investigation. Oh, investigation, investigation check. You know, it said it looked as if it was uh, not sharp teeth or claws that were doing any of the damage, but something quite a bit more blunt, digging in and cracking through the skull and the back of the head. Um, and that's kind of where we left him uh, as we moved back to our party and the two Victors kind of uh, meeting, but not mm -hmm. really talking to each other, a little standoffish. But at least they have some direction as the Victor that has been. Uh, kind of wrongfully uh, filling in our real Victor's shoes. Uh, he's learned a lot. This other Victor has learned about, or at least heard about something in the in the waters towards the east or by the waters towards the east where they get a lot of the fish brought in from Mylon. It looks like the fish market's kind of dried right up because of that. Um, Sounds Cute, kind of dragon-esque. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, real east. And uh, so Remember they're, they're headed in that direction on the horses, making their way. And as this is going on, this sun splitting in the sky it actually brought an individual, uh, as that page was found, and mm -hmm. uh, in it listed a, a person named Quilliam. Quilliam and his master. Now, Quilliam has been watching this as he kind of popped into this world, much like Minxie and the others who came with a page, but this was done a little bit differently because Quilliam was on a different dimension in his book as he looked through different worlds, but again, all within his book. This is the first time he's been out of his book and in a different one. His dimension is much smaller, similar to Rope Trick, for those of you that know that. It's just a small little pocket dimension you go into and you can see everything. And he's been seeing everything as he follows along our heroes as if almost like a video game watching them. And he's been hearing everything that's going on. And as they make their way towards Grimsby on the east side, they're going to camp out. Mm -hmm. And while this is going on, we're going to take a look at Quilliam. Quilliam. You see them camping, eating their food, chatting, going to bed. It's not really any darker than it was before, but it's nighttime for them. They're, they're, they're going to take their long rest. What are you going to do? I'm going to look up to the sky, this semi-night sky. Mm -hmm. Look up to the seven-star constellation that makes up the great owl yep. he knows it. It's there. Hmm. It is time. I know who I have to follow now. Mm -hmm. And you see the two primary I'm stars at the top glisten extra bright. Mm -hmm. And cool detail on the on the page then. Mm -hmm. And and then uh, I will bring myself down into the city in which they are headed. Mm -hmm. Into you going, a you're back gonna go to Grimsby. Here. Ah, okay, Correct. yes, perfect. Mm. He's going to head us off there. So this can really only be done as they start to get close to the city because it seems like the world around them doesn't really exist, or at least you don't have access right. to it. I will wait till the next night. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but what you can do is you can set yourself down where they are as they camp, and you can move on foot as they sleep. You just can't teleport yourself to Grimsby. Okay, oh, yeah. I'll do that. So, I just want you to roll a stealth for me as you essentially pop up in the middle of their camp. Hmm. 
Oh, actually, roll at advantage. Because we're asleep? Well, one, you're asleep, but two, everything is effed right now. Oh, yeah. There's screaming yeah. in the distance, things falling from the sky. There's always noise going on. The chances that anything would wake you guys up that's just generic wouldn't really be very high. Would you roll, Mark? Now, normally that'd be true, but I am wearing heavy armor. Ooh. Now, you're, you're not heavy running armor. or stealthing, you're just literally popping up out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. I see you're not moving yet. Yes, you're not at... You're not, like, doing a thing. You're not crouching down behind something. You're just popping up. Oh, we want you, like, go What away. am I stealthing for? <laughs> I just want to see yeah, how... You... I guess that's true. Yeah, just straight just... roll then. Yeah, just straight roll. What'd you get? All right, I popped up with a nine stealth. That's actually not too bad. Passive. What's, what's everyone's passive? Uh, which one is it? So perception? Yeah, passive okay. perception. Uh, that is 11, so okay. I wake up. Yeah, so you guys are in your tents, and you right. wake up to, the, to a sound of something. It doesn't... They sound like anything in particular. But Quilliam is here. You notice that you have some, some horses. Tied up. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna, you gonna run off on foot? You gonna wait for people to get no. up and get out of the camp? You gonna grab some horses? Oh, I'm I'm going to watch them sleep. <laughs> some, some, someone's outside the tent. Huh? I like shake. Mm-hmm. All right. So I see. Yeah. Like a creeper. I've seen them. I'm. <laughs> hmm? Quilliam. He's going to put on this red cap mm-hmm. and try to... He, well, he's a fur one for one. Yeah. Oh. Big old seven foot one, very gray, with a big gray cloak with a bunch of heavy armor underneath. Just huge Ooh. figure Ooh. cast in darkness right now. And he's going to put on this hat and then start to just change a little bit, change his form and appearance to look more like whichever... Ooh, probably more like Saren. Karen. Karen. Okay, so... <laughs> elf, 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 like yeah, half elf? Yeah, a little yeah, more yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the fur will just go away from his face. Nice. The hair will come in a lot shorter. He'll still keep a little beard and yeah, yeah, have yeah. some pointy I mean, ears. Be female or male? But a lot smaller. Anyways. Um, <laughs> he will be male. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and... You're there. Are you, you guys yeah. hear this, but you're sleeping. Yeah. What would you guys do? Would anyone get I'll, up and check? I'll wake up the boys first. Well, okay. Yeah. And then... Uh, what's going on? Someone's, so sh- someone's outside our tent. Shush. If someone's outside our tent, we're going to be robbed or attacked. Yes, exactly. So get ready. All right. Are we going to jump Jennifer. out of the tent? Hey, Mingzi. Okay. Wake up, Sunshine and Victor. Or Sunshine guy. Yeah, she's already awake. We'll be fine. We're okay. Okay. He's still sleeping. Yeah. I'm going to let him sleep. It's fine. Yes. It's okay. Ready? And three, two, one. <laughs> Just like spring yes. up from the bedroll and, and go, yeah. You there! Uh, identify yourself. Come out of the darkness and into the light. Easy, Victor. How do and you he know will my step name? out. Uh, That's another Victor. The I'm nothing to be afraid of. My name is Quilliam Graham. Oh. Right. oh, he's like that guy from the page. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well done. Quilliam, you know my name. We're familiar with you. You've actually been announced. So, Nick. that works in your favor to a degree. If you look, you'll notice he's just levitating just a few inches oh. above the ground. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you can float. That's so cool. I can fly. Hey, that is a gift I do not possess. What other gifts do you have? Many, if you want me to list them right now. Are you good or bad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to say we, real chat. I mean, who's to say? Are you, well, are you going to attack us? No. I mean, you no harm. Why are you here then? I've been sent by her. If you look up, right. you'll see see those seven stars there. Why, that's Ignoza. That's He's insane. Goddess of knowledge. And no, I am not insane. The stars? <laughs> and those stars, the stars weren't there the before. Yeah, oh. Like, mm. Also, oh, I like look up. You and look go, up mm-hmm. and there are what literally the? stars <laughs> dead center. And... That's quite noticeably brighter than the other stars. You have not seen this constellation before, and it doesn't make any sense to you. Now, I'm what is known as a recollector. Um, All right. That sounds really fancy. Yeah. So I have been chosen, or one of many, 
chosen to peruse dying lands and seek out whatever culture, fauna, or people may still be present at the end, so their histories and lessons may be written into the stars. Quilliam, I don't mean to interrupt you in the middle of a lovely introduction, um, but before you have to repeat yourself, Kerry, can we subject this man to a simple zone of truth? Absolutely. It will do you no harm, Quilliam, and you may in fact even be familiar with the spell. Zone of truth is actually a pretty yeah. apt description for the spell. You will not be shocked if I'll you would submit to truth. the magic. Do you oh, you see it? You must understand, Quilliam, you are not the first person to end up in this realm of ours, announced by a page. We have had some pretty nasty visitors from alien realms, and you happen to coincide with the splitting of our sun. Yes. So if you could please yes. submit cute. to the magic. Yes. Go for it, Carrie. Is that true? Very well. Yes. What would you, you like to, to ask it? me? Repeat yourself. My Why? name is Quilliam Graham. And what are you here for? I am here, and I'll just state what I said. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and same thing. So, yes, everything seems fine. You're and, like uh, an archaeologist, but you don't do that um, old bones. More of an anthropologist. Anthropologist, yes, but... Man, At least that's what I want. really prepped you in some odd places. No. no that, <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what my family did. Like, my first family. Oh, whoops. They, no, Foot in mouth, my okay. bad. My, no. my mum was an archaeologist. She was one of the elven archaeologists. <sighs> that's how she met my dad, actually. So. Hmm. so normally she sends me just to random towns, uh, you know, to gather whatever information I can. Usually it's nothing of consequence anyways, but it is surprising that I find myself drawn to you three, four, and you two are twins. No, we're not twins. Well, I suppose you are, just not from the same realm. Hold on. You came here with the announcement of a page, and you're already aware of the splitting of realm. You are not at all perturbed by no. the fact that you're not in your world. These things happen. <laughs> and I have been watching you for some time now. What? Okay. So, yes, I've heard your s talks of dragons about bringing on the end, also trying to gather them to save the world. And... <laughs> Yeah, which is Monks. why, <laughs> yeah, which is why this world Monks. isn't going to end. Nah. You're not going to have a story of the end of this world yet. Do you have? A you story might be here a while. World? Pardon? Do you have a story of the end of the world? Have you seen the of future? Of which world? This. World. Everyone I go to ends. Oh great! Yeah, it's so no ending. big deal that he's here, right? It's not ending anytime soon. Hold on. While oh, he's in the zone. Mm. I, yes. I would disagree. You do not personally end the worlds that you travel to, yeah? <laughs> I try not to interfere, no. Was that a truth or a lie? We can't, that's a big deal. That was good. Okay, good. Awesome. Tell right. me then, do you consider yourselves good people? I like to think I try and be good now. Mm. I am very good. The one Victoria yeah, she's goes, like pure good. I don't know anymore. Like, honestly, I don't care. I don't know what we can do in this world. But happy Victoria goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> well, perhaps you'll find heroes. will be up to the task of perhaps helping me with an agenda of my own. Yeah. You know what? Absolutely. I'm, oh, th this is uh, going to be happy Victoria, I guess. <laughs> You know what? Um, one new guy to another. Uh, you're a hell of a lot more in on this than I was when I showed up. You seem like a guy who knows what's what's happening. Uh, you said you were the follower of a god of knowledge? Is Correct. That... Ignosa. Ignosa. And she sent you here? Yes. And her constellations are in the sky. And I'm guessing... Uh, Wait, you're not from here. This is know. all new. That's like, new? That's that's not our star. Ooh, that's good. That means your god is still alive and able to influence things. Do you speak to her in any meaningful way? I do. She doesn't always answer me in the most vocal of manners, but she brings me signs, and I can read the twinkling of her stars and read the stories within them. That's fantastic. Trust me, you don't always want to meet with them and hear the words they have to say. The messages are fine. It 
Do you have any messages that you've received? Uh, I know that now you seem to have joined our merry gang. Um, do you have any insights for us on how to stop creation from ending? Because I imagine your your god who no. wants you to write down. I do not. No. Uh, no? I, no. What um, is happening here? I. Um, I'm afraid it's happened before. Well, what what ha- what happened next? Um. In world? Well, you see, I was. Following this old colleague of mine, her name was uh, Estrad. Estrad? Yes, okay. well, she took a dark path and uh, she turned out to be some form of death priestess. Ooh, okay. Yes, she would suck the life out of any world she found herself upon, using the constellations to jump about. Oh. Woof. Okay. Yes, and uh, I've been following her here, so I'm assuming. She's, She's here. somewhere here, probably starting the cycle all over again. That would have been a good thing to open with. Like, I can well, tell I, you're telling the truth right now, but like... But you wanted to I, zone a truth me and repeat everything <laughs> twice, so here we are. <laughs> yeah, but like, you should have hopped down and then said, Okay, I've accidentally... Hey, hey. Carrie? Oh, God. No use uh, crying me. over spilled milk, yeah? He's being pretty up and up with us. Let's we be up and up back. Yeah. Cheer up. It's all good. Don't have to get upset about all this. <laughs> yeah, it is all you're good. so positive. This just seems like civil How? to me, but like, yeah, How? sure, <laughs> we could take it that way too. God, is okay. that guy not civil? <laughs> oh. What else is interesting? I've never seen so many different races all together in one world. It is very curious to me how this happens. Really? It is curious to me too. I don't know how I got here. <laughs> Well, page dropped? I guess, that's but that's still gets here, right? really weird. Yeah, but mm. we have, like, taxis in this world. We have. Perhaps this door, ho- I mean, this world could hold doors to many. And perhaps a long time ago, they all kind of came through. The doors were sealed. A uh, sad, a uh, grumpy Victor yeah. <laughs> would go, Now, uh, like, we had a bunch of races show up, but, like, the pages are bringing other weird junk in. So, like, that explains a good bunch of them. Like, you know how you're here? Yeah. Haven't seen you before. You're one of the new races that you're talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm an elf right now. Oh! Oh, oh we didn't yeah. see... Ah! <laughs> right. I thought we Turned saw him, like, that. morph no. in the darkness, but no. we weren't awake at because that point. Because he's been gotcha. following you. It's he easier. knew images okay. already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. All right. Well, in that case, the, the rest of the points in. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, there are a bunch of races here, but more than normal. Mm. Uh, this is kind of unusual, a temporary thing. Uh, they're just kind of dropping on in on the party. So we'll all end up dead soon enough. <laughs> well, no, we're actually working to stop. How that. come you are not dead? Mm. Yeah. Well, at the turning of events, the hypnosis usually brings me back up, and and you well, actually you see this scepter here, and uh, it brings up this huge scepter that's all Ooh, silver that and with so a big shiny. blue like sapphire that's wrapped in silver all entwined <laughs> around it ball. actually it looks like a bunch of little <laughs> kind of stars poking out of the silver with the blue this, this helps me to recall everything i see taste touch smell so you and she takes this information i don't know composites it all into a new star so your job and sends me to the next world. Is to watch civilizations or um, Civilization. planets and everything just die over and over again. That is an oversimplification, but <laughs> stands to reason. And his goal is to actually preserve what can be taken with him. So he archives a planet before it's snuffed out. And I imagine the reason why your god sent you here to this particular place is because this world is at the center of, of events that can potentially threaten all of creation. So your god, who sends you to archive the death of planets, is now stuck in a position where you have to archive the death, potentially, of all reality. So that's why you're here in this story. If you're that following... is indeed the case, I mean, every world thinks they're the last world. And... Okay. Yes, but um, we uh... actually know, like, the... Well, who really knows anything? There is a god author, the creator of the universe. <laughs> you, every planet you've been to, and your god included, who is being held hostage on this world. Yeah, I've been to many worlds with many different cultures and gods who are all real, including yours. 
and they all are omnipotent. But, uh, but I'm still here. But, okay, even if our god isn't the god or whatever creates the universes and your universe and hmm. happy Victor's universe. And what created that everything. god then? Maybe it was maybe it was that. But we are not letting this world die. That's, that's not happening. Well, this is you are not gonna have what I'm documents. here to find out as well. Things aren't set in stone exactly. There's just a high probability. Now, sir. If there is. A- uh, your name is Quilliam, yes? Or do you have some Correct. formal title that you prefer to be addressed by? No, you can call me Quill, that's all right. Very well, Quill. You have said yourself that you find the task that you have been given of no consequence. Would you like to do something of consequence? I wouldn't say it was of no consequence. You said it yourself earlier that you go around recording events of little to no consequence because those worlds eventually just puff up and die after you write them down. They're no, inconsequential. S- Would you like to be consequential? Say, I, I'm not here to save anyone. Someone else take over. You, <laughs> you're in. <laughs> yeah. just yeah. Upset, Quill yeah. just, I'm going to make a midnight snap. It's not midnight. It's, yeah. I don't know what time it is. Yeah. I'm going to have a snap, always this angry. <laughs> he is the angriest person I've ever met in my life. But <laughs> if there is even the slightest percent chance that this world is going to survive, it is. I am going to find that. I'm going to find out how to fix this. Right. And if you find... are the ones to save it, I say, I would like to be along for the ride and see what kind of mischief you all get up to. Perfect. Well, you look like you can handle yourself. Well, uh, I could probably aid you a little bit. I'm not much in battle, but... That, that was literally what I was going to ask. I was like, hey, yes. you can either chill in the background, like write down our deeds, which would be really cool. I kind of do that a little bit myself. He and, does. <laughs> and I'm pretty good. See that star can... right there? Yeah. I wrote that one. You, you what now? The stars? Yes. I wrote like a cool song a second ago, like, like some of a song. I heard it. It was yeah. so good. It's a work in progress. It's pretty cool. It's oh, amazing. You thought it was cool? In that case, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's... It's actually, it's right in here. It's going up. <laughs> You're going to be so famous. Nice. All right. Yeah, uh, it's cool, not but... going up because he's not going to write that we ended. <laughs> That's right. We're not dying. It'll be in his book. And it'll be you in can go back to this your world universe and world? publish that song. Everyone will love it. That will be cool. Okay? Awesome. So but, I mean, he's like, going to have to help. You're going to be like super famous in the stars. Yeah. yeah. Do That's you, like a cool backup. You're just gonna Quill is just going to be like leaving the group, and <laughs> he's going to like look at the plants that are nearby. I'm going to I'm going to like go to you and just be like, so um, are you just going to be writing stuff, or like can you like help me? Yeah, I'm going to like no, like, that's punch what I was you just, in the arm, just talking just to, to him like, about. Just to like kind of work out how weak you are if you're as weak as the other Victor. Or... B, I was Carrie. I was. Uh, <laughs> I was just talking to this guy. I was like, hey, are you just going to sit there and like watch us do like crazy cool stuff? Or are you going to like help out? And then he said he was going to help us. I'm like, okay, neat. I'm not obviously going to do the okay. thing that I was like, hey, are you just going to sit on the sideline? I'm going to I was just worried about that. Hey, what do you call this? Uh, that is, and then... Like, uh, what's grass? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that is a blackberry bush. <laughs> that is poisonous. Don't touch. <laughs> and then I move you away from now, mushrooms. Mr. Quilliam, <laughs> sir, yeah. uh, I do understand, even with my limited knowledge, uh, based on the sun splitting in half um, and the fact that you only show up at worlds doomed to die soon after your arrival, uh, that this is a time sensitive matter. So if you want to catalog the local flora and fauna, feel free to do so whenever you have free time. But I'm thinking, I kind of want to go back to like my world with my girlfriend. Well, like that's kind of a big deal to me. And I've got a pretty good where I'm from. I'm like fighting a good fight and stuff. It's really, it's, yeah. yeah. So I kind of want to go back to that. You believe there's a world to go back to? Don't do that to me, man. What, what's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> Still on. your mind. It's you late. You should get so some so much sleep. existential dread. It's not fun. Like he, so I, just, I, I want more just of don't you. worry about it. Why is it things will be the as they are. That's all. <laughs> Oh god. Well, we're, we're, we're gonna, gonna have a snack going. with that guy. <laughs> if you wanna just like walk around the background, you can. 
But there's evil things in this world that are gonna just kill you. Like outright just slit your throat. Like if you can't like wield a weapon. There anything, are there are evil things ready to kill us at any moment. Grumpy Victor yeah. is gonna go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Grumpy yeah. Victor will go. Yeah. This world is a pretty crappy one. It can get nasty out here. So um I don't know. Apparently you've been to places without grass. So on the off chance that you've been to places yeah. without evil, this place is kind of steeped in it. So uh, we're going to take turns staying up while everyone else sleeps um, to make sure that people don't come up to us while we're resting and slit our throats and steal our belongings. That's how this world works. Well, so welcome aboard. Here, sir. Let's get to saving it, yeah? What whole world you have here. Mmm. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <He> just <laughs> yep. other Victor's like, you are really, you are really in a pit. <laughs> just like that. I'm on the he back. Is oh, Don't do you touch me. <laughs> Looks like you all need a lot of rest. I'll take, uh, I'll take the first night's watch and. There you go. You're going to take the gonna... first night's watch, guy. Night? My, this is this is grumpy Victor. Okay. That's not how how night watches work. You don't do the whole night. You do like I'm a couple right. hours stint. Right. I completely trust him. I am going back to bed. I'm you compl- gonna stay up for a couple hours with him, just to keep watch of him and keep watch. All right, Carrie. Um, if you want to uh, use what uh, magical energies you have remaining to you before you take Ev- your rest oh. and get it back Ev- to probe him under his own Everyone truth. Everyone gets an aura of protection, so plus four on saves. Nice. I nice. Forgot to say. When you're within, um, I think it's like 25 foot of me. Or yeah, nice. Oh, okay. For like the entire night? Uh, always. As always. long as I'm away, I'm, uh, I'm like uh, up. Oh, and good. Within, but not when you're sleeping. Yeah, there you go. I will double check so you know, like the. Alright. But you're going to stay yeah. up with him in the meantime. Yes, I will. Yeah. Okay. But as long as you're conscious, I would think. Uh, yeah. As long as I'm conscious. So, Kerry, hold his feet to the fire, will you, uh, while you're awake? Not literally, like, interrogate him. Yeah. Um, find out if he knows anything useful. I mean, he's been through this before a few times, it seems, so uh, pull what nuggets of, of good you can from the old man talk. Uh, okay. Ten feet as well. Awesome. Yeah, you're, you're really... Uh, that zone of truth is coming in handy. That's a great little trick you've got there. It's, um, I'm glad you like it. And it did come in handy when I needed it most, so thank yes. you for having my back on that of course, as well. I've, I've always got your back. Sleep well. I, I think I happened. will, knowing that. Good night, Gary. Good night. Hello. <laughs> I'll take it to sleep. <laughs> and you two are taking the first watch. Sit down mm-hmm. next to him. Perfect. Is there anything you guys want to chat about? So. Yeah, uh, you don't have to. I well, just want to know if I should roll perception. It's, it's, a, it's whether we're knowledge. role player or not, but he he will be mm-hmm. asking her about everything and that's happened in the I world, will, everything that's been going. I on. get up to you. speed, anyways, over the next couple hours. And you divulge everything that you mm-hmm. know and has. And I'll I'll keep like obviously some things that are kind of more like secretive and like um, something that might be bad away. Mm. Just so that you don't think we're like bad people and stuff. And <laughs> like you're like, gonna basically make it a rose-colored lens a story bit, of yeah. like the point exactly. at the black veins and be like bacterial <laughs> infection. Yeah, just yeah. a severe yeah. reaction. He, dark yeah. gray. It's not really black. Yeah, I was telling him about like that. And like, while you're you talking, the scepter weird. is just like glowing just a little bit and just oh. picking up on little That's bits of the stories as I'm paying very close attention and, and just remembering every little detail. What would be like a thing for figuring out if someone's actions are positive or like your Dance. your personality is good like insight, insight. Be like yeah, an insight, insight check yeah that's what you cool. do if you want to see if someone's lying be kind of applicable in the same uh, way that is a 13 plus 4 so 19 no seems like a lovely yeah. are you on the up and up well, if you can tell I mean I'm an alien Plus 17 <laughs> well if you're deceiving mm. roll yeah. or you can roll anyways and then keep it to yourself so, mm. Ooh, yeah, so 17. I'm, I'm not from this world, I'm not even wearing up my own face, so it'd be pretty hard to tell. I just think you look a little like me. So you've made a face, but it's really uncanny valley, where not, like, just random expressions, or? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a little odd, yes. Okay. Because you have a face yes. to it, yeah. change the yeah. I gotcha. He only has the teeth in the front, because that's all he could see on you. <laughs> gotcha. 
Okay. Nice. Wait, Until later on when he like, okay, and another one pops down. Fill in the, oh, the blanks. So yeah, what was your thing? I mind seven. Yeah, you, he seems like a nice guy. And then if like, I wait, forgot Seems. you were deceiving me. <laughs> Pardon? Are you gonna do a deception roll? He or seems a... like a nice guy. I rolled. Okay. Oh. So are we gonna talk about <laughs> how you're not this? Well, you can tell. Well, well, a quick one. Pretty... Actually, you... maybe you should have to do an investigation check. <laughs> investigation. Why don't you do an investigation, but I'm going to make it a low DC, because as he described it to me, yeah, that's, that's pretty... I got a seven. Good enough, as long as you get a five. <laughs> what? You literally said, yeah, it's like, you know, it's like, he didn't have all this teeth. Great. Great. It's like a Team America face. <laughs> this is literally... It's like, not... Yeah, seven does it. Seven definitely does it. The way you described it, seven does it. Hopefully it's better in real... Situations. I will. Yeah. I will like. I will say it gets that, better yeah, as you as I learn. Adapt. But yes, 100%. I will after oh, that. Like aren't say supposed to be up here. That, <laughs> yeah, I will explain to you and show you like this is meant to be here. Like oh, I'll, I'll like almost. Ha- do we have changelings in this? This is kind of new to you. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. no. Then like I will like help you, but I'll be like asking like why with the. Like, oh, like, I find it easier to blend in to the locals. I mean, uh, <laughs> some get pretty frightened at seeing my true form. Really? Well, we are a bit of an odd bunch, you can see. Like, I do see that. It seems like you collect all sorts it, here. Yeah. Like, why Why are you an elf? Because I... Well, I saw you at first, and oh. I thought you were, well, good to look at. So. Oh. <laughs> Creepy old yeah. man vibes. Yeah. <laughs> it just seems so like naive and just, just like, I don't know. Yeah. To be wow. honest, it is a little crisp, constricting trying oh, to make myself okay? this size. Or if you really wouldn't mind. Of course, get comfortable. We're, we're on watch. I don't right. want you in discomfort. He'll take off his hat. Yeah. And then there you go. He'll grow a lot bigger. And a lot of fur will start coming off, and the ears will come out and start drooping down. To, to be fair, I've seen a little girl turn to a <laughs> wolf, and it was way more terrifying than that. <laughs> so, you're, you're good. Really? You, you think I could walk around like this? Or? People aren't going to scared. Given the state of the world yeah. right now, absolutely. Yeah. They would Is not care. Like, oh, much, he's whatever. Like, anyway. Much scarier, that's how that Plus, yeah. actually, you being very big very good for us very very good for us i'd rather you be yeah. your height than like you just think a bunch maybe of... i could be like intimidating <laughs> <laughs> not like that but i'll help you okay <laughs> so and then i'll, I'll um, look around make sure that everything's yeah. okay mm-hmm. and i'll stand up and kind of like show him some moves like puff out your chest <laughs> head above the rest <sighs> looking just... over them <laughs> yeah <laughs> you've got this see that's how to be intimidating. Now don't. Oh, talk. but that does hurt my back. <laughs> yeah, ever so yeah much. it's not a posture you used to take. Yeah. No. I'd say. He's, he's got a big hump on his back. Oh. Do you want to do a perception check? Well, the ones that are up in here. Do, do yeah. a perception check for me. Maybe. 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 I'm sleeping with I got a dirty 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's a dream. I want no part of this. <laughs> Because she's happy Victoria. That's a natural like, 20. Get in nice. here, bud. Come you, on. You <laughs> both here. Like family. Snuggling. He's like, don't touch me. <laughs> you God. I got a dirty 20. You cool. In the distance, you both hear... Actually, Carrie, you, you are familiar with the sound. You can hear cranking and turning and psst and steam. You can hear the clanking of metal. Oh, see elephant! No. There's a crack! <laughs> it's something. Is it the car sound or is it the elephant sound? It sounds a lot like the elephant sound. Although the sounds aren't wildly oh different, but this doesn't sound exactly like the yeah. elephant sound, but it does have similar... Something's coming over there. And then... <laughs> I swear to God, don't say a word. And then I will pull over the... T- open the tent. And I will get them up. 
You see that they're all spooning each other. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy Big Chair has moved to the corner. They've moved. <laughs> <laughs> There's no yeah. room to get. It's a hundred percent happy Big Chair, Minxie, and then you as the littlest spoon. Nice. <laughs> Continue. Okay, and then I'll just I'll giggle a little bit, but I will be like shaking and waking them up, and uh, Vic, my Big Chair. Yeah. Um, What's up? I can I can hear some. Things like the elephant. Shit. I don't know what it is. Hey, up. But we need to. We're Victorian. Minxie, come on. Get mm-hmm. your shit. Quiet. Grab your instrument. Okay, so the <laughs> elephant reacted to sounds and loud things like that. That much like any animal, it really does seem. Yeah, it's like it's spooky. Like an animal. Now, this doesn't sound identical to the elephant, no, but it has similar a similar animal. sound and it definitely has that Cog's book mm. familiarity from what you've learned so far. Quill. Quill's going to put his hand on the carrier's shoulder. Well, let's see what you're all made of. And uh, he will cast Guidance on you. Oh, nice. What does Guidance do? Uh, it gives you a D4 to ability checks for the next like, minute. Ooh. Everyone, spread out into the dark. Don't stay in the light of the fire. We don't want to clump together. Now, Quill, have you ever been to a place that is covered in machinery and uh, mechanical steamwork for similes of life? You know what? Actually, I have. It was entirely inhabited by gnomes. I believe it yeah. is called... Um, Conksbrook? No, no, it was uh, Exatra. Conksbrook was the city. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, my mistake. Maybe. Exatra, okay. Um... Does this thing that's coming towards us sound familiar to you at all? Do you have any insight that we could use? Because the last time we bumped into one of these things, it did not go well. Yeah. Are you good at da- like um, dodging? No. She does not look like it. <laughs> then you're staying not within 10 feet of me, and the boys are staying within 10 feet of me, because I know they're both terrible at it. I will stay <laughs> here on this log. Okay. That is not a good idea, Quill. Mm. All right. You do what you're going to do. Mm-hmm. This is going to be short-lived. Yeah. <laughs> As he turns himself invisible. But what? Oh my you god. You couldn't do that, that? <laughs> <laughs> what huh. an asshole. He just disappears. <laughs> he sneaks into the grass. Okay, mm-hmm. hey, I'm going to stay close to Vic Terra's, just within 10 feet of them, kind of like stealthily, just so that they have like plus four to their ability. While we're leaving, down. while we're I like see. hiding away, in the yeah. grass, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to look at Kiri and go, you know how this went last time. Yes. If it is anything like the elephant. Into high ground. High ground, stay apart, don't engage it up front. We distract and pull it down piece by piece. Yes. Yeah? We got this. That girl. Yeah! <laughs> Just like, <Nice>. boom! <laughs> the, the black kind of covers me over as I like yep. slink into the high grass. Yes. Meanwhile, other Victor is just gonna be like, oh, this is fun. Okay, what what are we doing? There's a lot of stuff that happens at night here. This is crazy. <laughs> if, if I... Everything here is crazy. Yes. Yeah. I feel like we should probably get to high ground and you should probably just like whip it out and shake it around because I hear that that probably helps situations like this. <laughs> you know what? Probably gonna go pretty low on like the list of strategies I'm gonna <laughs> use, but I'm putting it on the list. Like, yeah. who knows? You never know. Yeah. All right. Hey, if I'm getting mine out, you better bust out the fanny when it comes time to... I did last time. Okay, I forget that time. Okay, okay. Nice. <laughs> Just slink into the grass. Yeah. Did you do that? I don't remember that now, at all. Now, <laughs> everyone roll stealth. All right. Uh, you're going to roll at advantage. <laughs> because you're not popping into existence. You're just moving. I'm not even moving. Oh, you're not moving, you're just standing exactly where you are? <laughs> yeah, well, unless, the, unless they're going, like, out of range and Correct. running away, then I'm just standing where I am. Oh, you're just going to stand... S- Perfect, then you're okay. And what's the check to actually notice, it, or is there one? Okay. To see... I don't there's no one. No? Okay. For invisibility, it would be perception, but it wouldn't be sight-based. Yeah, totally. Okay. And if he's not moving, he's not making sound exactly. either, so it would so have to like be solely smell. based on smell. Yeah, perfect. I got an eight Okay. for my stealth. Okay. And I have okay. a nice stellar cleansing going on, so... Got a 15 for Smells. Grumpy Victor, <laughs> and we have advantage on stealth. That's right, because yeah, of our suits. That's right. As Minel Victor goes, activate. <gasps> and gets covered in his like metal stealth suit. Yeah. You guys are broken. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy strong. 31. What? The what? <laughs> Good. <laughs> We're like. <laughs> you guys don't exist anymore. You're back in your own world. 20. Hey, Minxie. I've actually got it out right now. They don't even know it. 
Nice. Whoa. <laughs> a little shifting in the grass. And uh, what, did, what did Grumpy Victor get? Uh, Grumpy Victor got 15 total. 15, okay. Uh, Happy Victor got 19 plus. 19 plus, <laughs> plus like kay. three. Really. You got seven? <laughs> Eight? Okay. Eight. And, and you're staying like, still. I'm going to take a natural one. I like one. being happy you're again. you take a natural one? Yeah. <laughs> right. I want to see how these things play out. Okay. You get a natural one. So. Oh, you want to make noise. Carrie, yeah. you go to sneak away, and as you go to do so, you accidentally bump in to where Maybe you hold action, thought yeah. William was. Oh, assuming everyone's spreading out to go hide, mm. he yeah. didn't. He decided to stay perfectly mm-hmm. still. So in doing so, you actually bump into him, causing him to fall over and this clanging sound going on. You're able to run off and get yourself into the tree line. You, you can kind of assume that someone probably would have heard that. And you at this point, as you fall onto the ground, all of your arm and everything clattering together, <clears throat> You are now kind of get an idea of what this group is made out of, as we all see... mug characters. Oh, mug. You're Sorry. invisible though. <laughs> Falls into he the ash. Like, oh. it. He's so invisible, hard. but he is a loud, clunky, invisible, laying on the ground. And as this happens, you guys are crouched down, and you see. Actually, everyone, roll a perception check. Okay. I want to see exactly who gets what out of this. I know a six. Okay. Nineteen. Nine. Perfect. Seven. Nine and seven. Perfect. Nineteen. So, Nineteen. Ooh. And what was Lisa's? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. So, uh, Carrie, when you bumped into Quilliam, you actually kind of just ran for the first piece of shrubbery you could find to get behind, and it really obscured your sight. You can see some cogs and stuff going. You tell it something big. That's about all that you know. Yeah, I'm more focused on like looking for the guys yep. and they're kind of sure. yeah absolutely yeah. and same thing to you you didn't quite get the right view with the shrubs and stuff but you two can see pretty clearly it looks like um minxie you would know you had this on your world uh Quillian would have seen something similar hmm. but it looks pretty similar to like a like a giraffe you know what i mean hmm. yeah it's a mecha giraffe <laughs> it's very 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 tall long neck Lots of different plates and stuff like that, kind of resembling the patterns of a giraffe. Oh, totally. But bigger than an actual giraffe? Um, a little larger than your standard giraffe. Okay. Yeah, it's still pretty big. It does like, yeah. like it's a giraffe. Yeah, this is a different <laughs> world with different animals that are similar to those that you might have in yours, but that ultimately... giraffe probably gets all the girls. All the girl giraffes, anyway. <laughs> nice. A big neck like that. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> they don't all actually right. have They're girls. Just or flirting boys. with each other. <laughs> what? Oh, because, because it's I mechanical. <laughs> Damn you, I now, knew it as I said it. Now, at this point, it does sort of pause for a moment as it walks through the area. It seems to take notice of something. And Quilliam, it's right over top of you as it seems to be very clearly drawn to a very loud noise that just took place where you are. And with its attention drawn towards you, it starts to use its other senses to kind of get an idea of what's going on. And you see it coming in quite close to you. Steam and pistons and cogs and stuff moving. Are you going to do anything? Oh, God. Mm, nope. Okay. Yeah. Everyone roll for We all know that giraffes leave carcasses. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and roll well, for initiative. Well, initiative. Mm-hmm. And if they see a metal thing, Again. then they might try to kill it. Again. I don't like that noise nope. at all. Oh, we didn't roll initiative. No, we did. Oh, That's what I said I was taking oh, a yeah. natural one for her. Stealth. Oh no, stealth. That was for initiative for me. Oh, oh that's why all of that like, played out. I was just gonna out. sit yeah. back and do nothing. That's why I was like, I'll take the one for initiative. <laughs> no, yeah, you're doing stealth. And you said, I want to see how this plays out. I'm like, you're gonna take a one on your. Okay. I voluntarily catastrophically. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, no, he's not going to attack on the. I thought you were using as a learning opportunity. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is kind of a big deal. We're gonna back up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so the draft does not notice you. You still got what you got on your roll, and yeah, you still yeah. got what you got. All to I meant see. was that he was holding back. And... Totally. You don't fall down. Yeah. But you do notice that there is this draft moving through the mm-hmm. area. It doesn't seem like you got his attention, but it does seem like sure. it noticed something in the trees. And it kind of gets a nervous sort of energy about it as it starts to kind of dart its head around a little bit. You kind of get the impression like it might worry about predators at times, and it sees something in the tree line. It seems a little bit panicked. It really didn't notice the good, the happy Victor or Minxie at all. Didn't notice Quilliam, but it did notice the Catholics Victor and Carrie. 
you guys are kind of together. Is there anything you guys want to do as it's kind of darting its head around and searching for you? Because it is coming towards your direction. Yeah. And we are not familiar with the idea of a giraffe. Correct. Uh, she yeah. knows, yes. but we don't know what a giraffe is. No. Correct. So to We're us, terrified. this thing looks like it could be some weird right. long-necked predator. Right. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Why don't you roll? Um, animal handling wouldn't really be appropriate, but you could roll like... like a, nature Yes, or... like a nature or even a history, depending on how it might be applicable. All right. Uh, let's see what's up. Would survival be what? Um, no, survival mm-hmm. would be more about no you clue. grabbing That's berries right. to eat if you ran out of food. Yeah, that I sort got of... six. You got six, would you get? I got a four. So we both just see this tall mechanical animal. Yeah, and, and because your views are kind of obscured, even though it's getting closer to you, you still just see cogs and pistons. It hasn't found you quite yet. It just knows roughly where you are. Before we get into the actual initiative order, you'll have one surprise round. Is there anything you're going to do? You're going to stay quiet? You're going to attack? Yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, Damn it. You do not move okay. from this spot. We might not have to deal with this at all. Okay. We stay still, and if it moves on, great. If not, one, two, three, hit it when it comes within two feet. Yeah? Okay. Great. Got it ready. Ready. Okay. So, Just going ready to ready in action. action. Okay. Let's see if we can actually pinpoint your exact spot. Um, you guys are having this conversation as well. Why don't you guys roll stealth for me again, now that you guys are actually aware that it sees you, and you guys are now speaking to one another. Okay. <clears throat> no. no. Oh, I hate my disadvantage. Okay. So, <laughs> so as it gets a rough it idea of where oh, no, whereabouts you are, you guys go, okay, here's what we're going to do. And it goes, huh? And it pans over and... Yeah. Yeah, and you can see its neck swings by and its head comes towards you. And yeah, it's entering about that two-foot range. It's getting pretty close, yeah. Stand up out of the bush. Yeah. Carrie, put on a show. And I'll just kind of have the ink kind of bleed out from the lines to cover my skin and have it, like, drip off, except for for the eyes. And I'll just... Back away, creature. Mm. If there is any part of you that understands my language... Flee now! Let us be! Roll an intimidation check. All right. And you're, you, I'll give you advantage because you, you're you using your gin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give you advantage on that. See, he's going to turn into an octopus. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a 16 total. <laughs> Actually, that's not that bad. Yeah. Ah, okay, so <laughs> it freaks out. <laughs> it, it didn't seem scared scared. It just had its initially it just had its it was on high alert as soon as you popped Mm -hmm. out of the bush and you can see it kind of come back a little bit it's used to defending itself but then as soon as you started to really dig in the voice came out the tentacles and the ink you can see it starts to skid its hoofs back starts to fall it lands on its own butt as its neck starts to crumple (laughs) slam down to the ground it starts to try and make its way back up (laughs) it's having a hard time though but it looks like it wants to get away poor clumsy git (laughs) yeah so anything you you guys are gonna do do? escape and then i'll have my sword ready this one seems very seem so. skittish, but I don't know if we can even catch it. Once it gets up on its legs, it's going to outpace us. Okay. Uh, don't attack a giraffe. A, a what? A what? If you I, know something about this, it's about to get up off of its, its clumsy it's ass and run away. Yeah, like, they're grappling clumsy. a giraffe, they're like nice. holding their neck down. They're they're nice. People, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Is there any way of grappling a giraffe? Like you holding could, his head down his neck. It's get like, it in a headlock. You <laughs> could hold on to it, <laughs> but it would move. What part around the neck? Think of literally <laughs> grabbing a draft. Yeah. You can grab and then on. a bigger metal one. But yeah, <laughs> it's, you're not controlling it. It's You're just holding on as it does what it cool. wants. Yeah, no, I won't do anything. I'll yeah, just be like good, good in idea. shock that you even know what this is. Yes. Hold on. Uh, where's Puppy? It has its... Oh, is this uh, a happy one? Or is this... Oh, no, this, this, this is, is Catholic. Okay, go ahead. Um, where's your puppy? It has some mm-hmm. kind of uh, mechanical augmentations and armor that have, have been put upon it, right? Ooh. It actually follows your commands and... He does follow my commands. Yes. I'll call over to puppy. Yeah, he comes seemingly out of nowhere, and he has a little ding 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 from the tag. If this... I don't know if they speak a machine language or an animal language. If, at the very least, if it tries to book it, maybe this thing can be of some use to us, so try to have puppy... Sheepdog it because right now it's in a panic state. It's easily influenceable. We can kind of hem it in where we want it. Yeah. Perfect. Great. Go. Perfect. Go, puppy. Go. Uh, yep. I get puppy. I'll be like puppy. Okay. We're gonna like try and like make sure there's a giraffe. Yeah. Stays where we want it. Okay. So okay, totally. just make sure when it gets back up uh-huh. to wrangle it in. Okay. You got that? You know how to do that? Are you a sheepdog? Wrangle it where? Uh, just hold. Uh, where? Where are we going? 
It just has to yeah. stay <laughs> near us so that we can make a cordon around it to calm it down. Near us, we're gonna fence it in. Oh, oh, so calm, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah okay. Calm. Uh, why don't you roll for puppy? Uh, we'll do this as an animal handling. Because effectively, is literally, literally animal puppy. handling. Yeah. He has a sheepdog for the time being. Oh, God. <laughs> there are six. God. Well, he's really excited. Yeah. He's yeah. Like, Draft! Draft? Draft. Yeah. And he's running around, and much like when he um, was grabbing the foot from that other thing that was trying to grab the foot back in their city there, he's just really excited to be there, and he's <laughs> trying his best, but this is really unfamiliar territory to him, so as much as you can better. explain it, he can't... Yeah, he, he can't he execute on his will as well. Yet, now, so don't get rid of him. <laughs> I did say that we were going to go out with Puppy to kind of make a little bit of a triangle, so oh, it doesn't you're gonna just lend him aid in another direction. Thank you. Roll it. Because we're going like, hey, whoa, whoa. I got a 14. Good. Okay. And I'll go like, yes. who knows what a giraffe is? Someone come in and help oh. deal with this thing. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. whoa. And I'll drop the kind of black yeah. and go, easy. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you can try to calm it down. <clears throat> you can see its head start to kind of shake a little bit. It's still kind of a little weary of what's going on, but as it starts to assess the situation, it realizes it hasn't been hit with anything yet, and that's not really familiar territory, so it starts to kind of calm a little, but you can st- still on edge. <clears throat> Here now, here now. I'll reach into my component pouch, and I'll pull out a bit of like charcoal or coal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And be like, oh, here you go. Absolutely, you go. that's so funny. Like, yes. Oh. Toss it. Yeah. Be like, hundred percent. Right. Yeah. Where are the giraffe people? Yeah, they're <laughs> giraffe guys. <laughs> As his well, head like, comes down, starts so chewing. Person. No. <laughs> Little bits of black falling down. Yeah. <laughs> Ball. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I've had enough to hear with this minxie. <laughs> Yeah. So I'll throw a, a bit of coal Which to one? it. Which one? The, this the is grumpy, the grumpy, grumpy one. Because perfect, perfect, yep. Happy Victor is just like, oh, totally. Yep. Just what, that's that's what, what I thought. <laughs> so yeah, he's just chewing. You see this little black powder falling from his jaw, moving kind of side to side Why as it grinds. And its head just lifting and up. grab like some um, of the charcoal of the, car, of the fire so you can keep mm-hmm. giving him charcoal. All right. And All right. at this point, you can see its head is quite high. It sees above the tree line. You notice it stops all of a sudden. And it starts to look kind of to the east. And it drops down quite quickly. Its head gets lower. And you can see it start to kind of scurry a little bit. Like it's just keeping its head down as best as it can anyways. As it starts to move past you and go in the other direction. It starts to head west. Okay. Uh, Quill. Quill, where'd you go? Oh, did he leave Hello. us? Over here. Quill, oh. are you from... You're, you went to the world of these mechanical... And, oh, does that mean their world ended? We should probably oh, yeah. Well, yes. it's a giraffe. It doesn't know what I'm talking about. Um, well, are, are you guys fighting this, or what are you doing? No, it's no, it's, it's scared. Friendly. It's lying down. It's kind of funny because okay. it's so long. But, uh, <laughs> Leave it alone. <clears throat> yeah. Well, we could use it. This is a like a 25-foot-tall mechanical creature. If we ever have to get over like a city wall, we can climb up its neck. So do it. Yeah, it's grumpy. What do you want from me? Aren't you? Haven't you visited this world? Haven't you? Don't you have perfect recollection of all the things that you picked up? I have a good enough memory to remember you saying that. I do. Shouldn't you know how to work with these things? Since your whole point is archiving the knowledge of the planets you go to. I know to leave them alone. That's it. I don't know. Mm. I think you should probably go on its back. Yeah, how far are we oh, away They have from... controllers, they have masters. I am neither of those. How far are we away cool. from the coast? Are you I one of its that. masters? But another day. Yes, so the giraffe isn't the same. <laughs> no. I'm looking in a direction right. where as I soon think as you are. Yeah. Like... As soon as I realize that, <laughs> I'll be like... Realize what? The, the giraffe isn't looking at the dragon in the water, because that's why I fought. And then I was like... Why not? The dragon is scared of something. Like, can the what? dragon not see? Can, can he see the water from where we are? You don't know what he sees. We but are like, dragons on our way fly to that Grimsby. You he just saw ah, something. This thing has a huge line of sight over the trees, and yeah. it saw something that is scary even to something yeah. of its size. And it's like, so let's get down. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna like stand somewhere in the clearing that I can like see. Hopefully, like, you can't I, see. Oh, this, no, this is a... okay. <clears throat> um, all right, uh, Carrie. Um, Who's good at this trees? Thing, yeah, this thing looked up, so we want to look at what it saw. Yeah. I don't think it's in a mood to get up. I don't know how to do that. Who can fly? Wait, uh, I, 
I can do that now, actually. And I just kind of phase so that the ink kind of gloves and it forms like this disc, this pool, and I almost step in like a pool of ink. I'm allergic to birds. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) And then the pool of ink floats up on the disc. Nice. I can fly now. Nice, you have like a pedestal of So I just, and I hover up. Perfect. To above the tree line to scout out what's now, going on. Are you going Steven just? It gives you four. <laughs> are you going just above the tree line? Uh, like, are you trying to be like where its head poked out? I'm yes. gonna go like okay. into the mass of a tree so that it's not just me floating as a scooby. Okay, snack. that's what I was about. Perfect. I'm gonna go through All right, the just tree. Check. So and yes. just shh. Yeah, shh. you can s- it up. Yeah, you can see that there is absolutely something very large. You can kind of figure it's a dragon. How many days away is the dragon? <laughs> uh, you're about a day or so from the. Uh, yeah, it's it's not it's not far. You guys can. It's quite close. Okay, it's close enough. Yeah. Okay. Shh. <laughs> oh, and this dragon is white, by the way. Oh. Ah. The disc so- remains three feet above ground. Mm. A floating disc? No, it's it's a class ability. It's not oh, an actual spell. It's not, not a tensor floating, floating disc. disc. That's no. just aesthetics. That's just flavor. Okay. Yeah. What's the spell? It's not a spell. It's a class ability yeah. as a warlock. Cool. Oh, just fly? Yeah. I, I, I hover. Cool. I like wub wub. I get like 10 feet of fly nice. speed. That's so I wub wub. Nice. Features and treats. Nice. And as soon as you come back down, you yeah. just be like, yeah, we're going. Get the dragon. <laughs> Everyone slept enough? No, we haven't, we haven't, we haven't slept, even have slept, we? No, I'm sure yeah. they have, have slept nope. enough. Nope. <laughs> Hold on, I'll have to find it. But yeah, so as I kind of drop down, mm-hmm. and I'll go, okay, guys, everyone, um, turns out we are heading in the right direction, because I did just manage to see a white dragon in the distance. So, good news, we're on its tail. Um, yeah, so that's what this big fella is afraid of. Um, but this is ultimately good. It means we're on the right track. It means we aren't just following a rumor of some sea serpent that happens to have dropped in from some other page. This is, in fact, a dragon. Uh, Great, we're making progress. That's good. Yeah. That's yeah. good. He's gonna be awake <laughs> while I get some sleep, because I need to rest a little bit before we can leave. I would volunteer, but this has been a restless night. Oh yeah, happy Victor. Uh, you seem chipper. <laughs> hey, you know what? I recharge pretty darn quick when I'm laying next to this one. I've got a lot oh, of energy. That's so, uh, yeah, I'm I gotta walk. work it off, so I'll, I'll stay up and just... <laughs> he's like jogging on the spot. <laughs> it's like, Halfway hey, you know what? I'll, I'll feed this funny looking, looking thing. She's nice. too tired to deal with this much positivity. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and then just collapses into yeah, the Yeah, you bed. go back to sleep, yeah. So, yes, yeah, so as the night passes, you guys wake up and not too much happens, but obviously you can... No yeah, one wants some concern, to talk to yeah. me at night. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm going to stay awake if you want someone to chat to. But I, I'm just feeding this... Animal. But I would love to learn more about you and about your me? cars, huh? your people, your family. Mm. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> no. I think. Uh, you see that guy over there? The guy who's harumphing and kicking in his sleep right now? Yeah. yeah that's what happens when we, stuff about our family comes up. It's not good. So we'll avoid that. But I mean, sure, I'll talk to you about. Stuff and he'll just go on. Just yeah, nom, 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 nom. we could be walking nom. around. Get, tell me what that tree is called. And... I'm actually not from here, but I'll take oh. a stab at it. Sure, I'll be a good sport. That one's big old round leaf. I've got big old round leaf. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Your staff glows, then it kind of yeah just dims a little bit for a second. It's it's like it. nope. Processing, it's like. Mm. <laughs> All the jet future generations will know that. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's, it, it's confused, but it's in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it counts as something. Cool. Yeah. So, Victor bullshits the night away. There you just go. lying about what everything is. There you go. And, yeah, eventually you guys uh, wake up and you work your way the rest of the, the day's journey towards... Grimsby. Grimsby area. Now, uh, you guys... Armor. Yeah, so as you guys start to enter the Grimsby area... Let me uh, yeah, you approach Grimsby, and it uh, it seems like it's it's a little bit 
uh, chaotic for sure. There's definitely a lot of damage and stuff. And you can tell that rioting and stuff has happened to an extent. But mm. it seems for the most part, like, it's starting to die down the last, you know, two days or so with the travel and then the last like half day or so with the sun and everything it seems like it's been a good two days of craziness and people are just starting to realize like the world hasn't ended yet and their energy levels are completely de it's just like the streets are just empty there are things to be taken that people just don't seem to care about anymore carts are left abandoned that sort of thing um yeah there's some people walking around i do love the idea of like the world is ending do whatever yeah. you want yeah. and then two days later being like, <laughs> like hey well... ted uh, no hard feelings about the whole your house, my belongings. <laughs> like, Hanging the life. I tried to you kill know. you. Yeah. You tried yeah. to kill me. <laughs> I, look, I look like an elf again, by the way. I, I've uh, sunk back down. Okay, perfect. So you trying to feed in. But still got a again. really weird yeah. walk. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, as you guys approach the city. No hard feelings. That, 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 that's what you see. And this town looks like it was actually pretty well kept. This town had quite a bit of money because it had mm. such good access to fish that were mm. really only in that area. It could charge a pretty penny for it. And because of that, a lot of the woodwork is ornate. The doors are actually carved with uh, citadels and family crests and things like that. It seems like people used to really take care here and it's just kind of gone to crap. But that's what you essentially walk in on. What are you guys going to do? I'm going to start touching all the walls and like the sculptures mm -hmm. and try to memorize every groove and mm -hmm. yeah, every name and sigil. And the family crest, yeah, mm -hmm. of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll help with pronunciations of some of them if you need it. Yeah, so how so do you pronounce it? this one? Yeah. Worcestershire. <laughs> Memory. That's exactly what it is. And exactly. How do you, how do you well, say yeah. that? Is he the reason why <laughs> future generations go Worcestershire? Is he the one that gave us that knowledge <laughs> in modern day? It doesn't yeah. matter. Worcestershire. Yeah. <laughs> Worcestershire. And yeah, I'll just go Worcestershire. and explain all the sh weird... English names. Mm. <laughs> As I see Carrie doing this, I'm like, this is this is literally what I'm talking. Yeah. Carrie, Carrie. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all good. No, you mean well. Like you're tour guiding. That's great. But he'll have all the time in the world to find out how to pronounce that abomination. <laughs> when we save the world, we're on a timeline. Exactly. Sun is broken in the sky. Exactly. Yes, you might want to spend your last moments enjoying the world you have. Not the no, last quick. moment. Yeah, Nothing's exactly. Nothing's gonna happen to this world. We're good. Yeah, she's right. She's gonna teach you some no, names. I'm okay, now, <laughs> do you <laughs> know... <laughs> do you Whole know, point, not last moments. Oh my yeah. god. Do you know how to tie a knot? Hmm? Do you know how to tie a knot? Yes, I do. You know learned that in your days? Do you know how to sail a ship? I... I'm sure I could recollect that knowledge. Yes. Perfect, and that's gonna be how you're used. Let's look for a ship, guys. Very good. Beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> it's actually part of my abilities where I can I get I understand it totally so. is. You get That's a nat 20. Saying. Well, I didn't say that. I had proficiency. No, no. You literally know everything about ships. You have learned the knowledge of <laughs> generations past. You understand oh. ships. All right. Ships are literally <laughs> the most common thing. In a, if there's water, there's a ship. People can be like, I get by on horse. <laughs> I get by on bike. I get Anywhere there's a ship, you understand ships. So you can find a really good ship. You found that it's not intended, you understand how to sail it, and you realize that the crew you have is adequate for the ship size that you have. And while he is going to find that excellent specimen mm -hmm. of a ship, he yeah. kind of knows what to look for. I'll be like, all right, Carrie, you make sure that he stays safe. This is actually important. This is where I want you to stay near him. He is very useful to us. Um, we're about to go into some pretty choppy water. We've had it yes. pretty easy going so far. No pirates, no storms, no nothing. Yep. Now, there's a dragon in the water. That's a conundrum for us. Yes. You keep him safe. I'm going to go and get us some gear, and I'm going to find out where this damn thing is. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Mix it. Now, you you do your thing. Um, you hang out with him. I'm g I'll go find out. Aww. What? No, no, you... Uh, he's a... Uh, He's got the same skills, if not more, than I do. So he can chat up some know other people. We this world, though. What do you want? I can help. All right. There is a reason I'm here, is to help. You can come along. We're you can bring your friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we need to find some things that will allow us to breathe underwater. Some things that will make it so that we don't drown immediately and so that we can actually move underwater. We need to actually find out where in the water this thing is. If there's some kind of whirlpool or choppy waters or, or storm fronts or clouds or something. The sailors around here must have reached the limits of its domain. We did hear that ships were being attacked by it. So we'll have eyewitnesses. Sailors love to talk. I like to talk to. 
or mesh will get our info. Cool? That sounds good. Great. I think it should be just me and you, though. And he looks at the... <laughs> at Happy Victor yeah. and Happy Victor. I just kind of nod at Happy Victor. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah, he sounds like he needs it, so... Hey, make him feel a little bit special. Yeah. Like, uh, get, treat him nice. You know that... You know what food I like, so... Like, do the same thing. I'll fill his belly. He'll be much happier. Yeah. Uh, gold is gold, so uh, this is what I managed to get. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> He'll just give you spending money. Like, take care of the guy, yeah? I have lots of money already, Victor. You know I like to buy stuff for you. <laughs> so, I'll take that, too. Yeah. Remember, you. You, were, you weren't so cagey about me buying stuff for you when I was getting you the flowers and the steaks and the room, <laughs> Miss Lady Golden Claw. Oh, do, have you not? Okay, our secret. Meow. <laughs> <Yes>. All right. <laughs> you. Perfect. you will wander up. I'm gonna get to know the people too. <laughs> yeah, you start chatting with people and all that. Okay. Wonderful. So yeah, <laughs> can you guys find the boat? It seems like you guys have a. Spread the name. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. It seems like you have a bit of a plan now. Now that you have the boat figured out, what are you guys going to do? Are you going to oh, try and... Out. Oh, he no. has the boat figured out. Oh, you guys I... are still going to... You're going to talk to people and see if you can figure out where this dragon is? Is that right? Info, uh, okay. like eyewitnesses, sailors at the bars, who, people who are working the ships and drawing up nets and who are still going out. Um, mm. I figure that they know where to safely work outside of the attack range. So you're going to so... kind of get an idea of who these people are by kind of looking at them, seeing what they wear, maybe kind of see maybe that person looks more... Oh, yeah, a, a guy who's like... A fishmonger, or like a dude who's literally pulling Perfect. fish out of a net. Why don't you roll a perception check, see if you can kind of take in the different people around you, and see if you can pinpoint someone that might be the, the most helpful to you. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Perception. Uh, that's not my strong suit. Do you have anything applicable? You're basically just people watching and trying to take in what you can. Cool. I'll do some, uh, some investigation. Perfect. Why not? That's a seven. So instead of taking in the people, you're like, you know what, I'm going to perk my ears up, maybe listen to some conversations. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a little bit more involved with what's going on, and you can't really <clears throat> seem to get too much information. The only thing that you catch is that it's north-ish in the waters. That's, that's okay. it. There's really, yeah, there's no specific other than that. You just get a vague direction. I mean, see, there's a lot of chaos here. I'm surrounded by so many voices, and these people are talking about everything other than what I'm asking about. Can you maybe, uh, you've got a bit more patience right now. You want to work your magic? Okay. Awesome, thanks. Oh, <sighs> You'll just kind of like... Tear. Right, do your stuff. Oh, Victor, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So he'll just kind of watch her talk to people, schmooze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just ask around in minxy fashion. Yeah, um, so why don't you give it a roll then? Um, if you want to see if you can pick something up. And uh, I'll give you advantage um, on this. He kind of helped you out a little bit. What am I rolling? Uh, that, that depends how you, want to, how you want to approach it. Perception would be to kind of people watch and take in and see who might be appropriate. Investigation would be more like listening in on conversations and that sort of thing. So uh, do you have a certain approach that works better for you? You can insight if someone is like yep. shell shocked from encountering a dragon yeah. or surviving Absolutely. a dragon attack. Or yeah, I'll do the insight. Okay. Sure. Ooh. At 19. advantage. Oh. Mm. Nineteen. Yeah. So you uh, you decide to go a different route. You try to read people's faces. You want to see if you can take something in that route, and you do. You notice that there is one person that seems to be especially sort of. Not quite stoic. There, there's a sadness in there and a little bit of um, fear. You can see he's hearing sounds and a twig or break and just kind of that, and then just he'll calm himself down. He just doesn't seem like he's too happy. What is going on with you? Yeah, so you walk up to the guy and he <laughs> startles. He goes, Oh, <laughs> oh we have problems with uh, the fish. You know, we have, um, we have bellies to feed. We have money we need to bring in. We, uh, but it's just so big, I mean, what do you do? What is so big? The dragon, it's it's huge. Yeah. Who are oh, you? Yes. You're not from here. No, not really, but I have seen a dragon, and yes, they are really big. They are really big. I am Roshir. I am one of the fishers. I tried so hard to 
bring in as much money as I could for my family, but I, what do you do? Uh, you, you can't go up against something like that. It's too much. Is it taking all of your fish? It's eating everything, and if we do try to get near to get anything, it attacks. It takes people, it doesn't even eat, it's not even like it's hungry, it just takes us and flies away. It'll throw people onto other boats, watch them drown. Uh, well, they're assholes. There's no way to make a li- uh, Yes, yes, I... I'm sorry, I... What do you want? Information? Where is it exactly? Oh. <laughs> Where is it? So that advantage kicks in. That, that's right. Yes. So you, you know that you know that across from Grimsby, as I pull up the map, I don't know if you guys can see this. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a little uh, piece of land that juts out with some mountains mm-hmm. on it and some trees. Just on the other side of that is mm-hmm. usually where they start fishing, right where the ice line just starts to kind of break up, where the water starts to get cold. That's where that fish likes to live. It's literally about let's see, one cube, two cubes, about two cubes up. Oh. So it's not that far. There's just a very cold chill in the ice. Yeah, and that fish is very specific to that area. So I'm gonna go to this. So yeah, that's that's where he tells you. So this is a prime fishing spot we all go to uh, just on the other side of the mountain where the water starts to get cold. Okay. Are there Thank storms you. near the dragon's lair? Are there storms over there? Uh, there are all sorts of things. It's. Um, it seems as if the only thing that is really any surprise to us that we can't explain is a hole. It looks as if a hole was punched right through the ground, causing it to lift up around the hole, making almost an opening. Uh, I don't know what it is, but we have to go around it. Uh, some boats that go that way don't return. The I only got lucky as it decided it wanted to throw me and watch me drown. Luckily, I was able to swim to shore. Oh my god. Are there experienced sailors who want to get their livelihoods back in order? Or perhaps soldiers who are tasked with defeating this creature? Because Do we you can... think that maybe he would like to talk to this man right there? I yeah, he literally is watching you right. like chat to her about what to talk to. Yeah. All right. He is very easy to talk to. I'm Victor. Uh, I'm also new here. Hello, Victor. Um, okay, uh, so I've got a couple questions for you, pal. Um, now, are there people in the city who are tasked with, uh, with fighting threats to the citizens of the city? Are there naval, uh, like, marines? No, this, we are simply fishers. We have small people that, uh, groups that will patrol. Uh, there are small guards, but they are not like the big guards and personas, if that's what you mean. They're not quite well equipped. It's rather like a my neighborhood f- watch. Oh, honestly, my, my, my neighbor's farmer, he volunteers there. Uh, that's about it. It's not great. My friend, um, would you and any other experienced sailors be willing to crew a ship for me and my friends? to go near the dragon, and I'm going to tell you why. Because we have actually met three other dragons, two of which are currently helping us to put the world right again. It's gonna um, roll inside, because that doesn't yeah. sound legit. Uh, if I can use some kind of persuasion yes, roll to if, yes, to, convince uh, him, I would of... say roll uh, persuasion for sure. You're not <laughs> deceiving anyone. Minxie, yeah. you you saw the dragon too, right? The green one. You can describe it. Eight. Uh, Perfect. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> I did see it. Okay. Good. Uh, Sixteen plus seven. He believes you. He very much believes you. Yes. How are you? I'm sorry. How how are you here? How are you not? How would? Why would you even want to? has to go out that way if you've seen them you know why because we actually have a way of getting them to be our allies and to stop them from terrorizing nearby areas we can get to them and we can use them to help resolve our issues you see how the sun has split yes we're not going to this dragon just to restore the livelihood of your fisherman trade the world is at stake and not just this one many others in fact all of them and it rests on us getting to that dragon. I am not a sailor. We need experienced sailors just to get us close. Please, will you help us? He he looks around 
he looks down at his feet first. You can see he's thinking, and then he kind of looks over at a hut. Looks like there's a lady at the window looking directly at him. They kind of make eye contact. He looks back down again at his hands. Calluses are starting to kind of dry up a little bit. He looks at you. Okay. I will help you get there. But I am not going to help you. I'm not going to stay. I will bring you with a, another boat. I will get you there and I will leave. You know what? That's actually fine. Because once we get to the dragon, it's in the dragon's best interest to make sure that we survive to meet the last of its kind. So if you can just deliver us safely to the location, you will literally have helped us save creation. There is no higher calling, I assure you. And when we meet God himself, who we're going to free, I'll make sure to put in a good word for you and your family. Thank you, sir. Five minutes. If you can gather yourself, your crew, by tonight, take us, take the, the day to gather your belongings and sort your affairs, I'll meet you down by the docks. Okay. I'll be looking for you. Uh, since there's no day or night, um, Ow. Yes. Uh, how uh, about this? Okay. I will make a call for you. We have a horn by the, by the dock. When you hear it, I will be ready, okay? Excellent. Here? is a good chunk of the money that I still possess. You take this because you know what best to spend it on. I am a landlubber. I would not know where to begin. Please prepare us for the journey accordingly. We may have to go into that hole and survive. I understand. I will I will do my best. You will hear you from me. the nearby merchants, that would be great. Oh, Thank sorry. you so much. And he goes off. You can see he goes to the house where he was looking at the woman through, and you can see him in the window. They, they hug each other, and he opens it, and he starts talking to her. And, oh, don't leave. No. Yeah, oh, so <laughs> you just got that. Now, is there anything that you guys want to do uh, while you're in town before this ship is ready to leave? I am going to meet up with all of them. With... Big be old arms full of fish and chips. But have you tried this? <laughs> it is amazing. I'm sorry. Oh, stop. I'm sorry. I Walk literally up couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't stop him. He just wouldn't <laughs> stop. And then as soon as he had one, I've he said he was hungry. And then as soon, yeah, as soon as he had one, delicious. he couldn't yeah. stop eating yeah. it. Like, I don't know what to do with him. I don't this, know where it goes. Yeah. The city is like trashed. It's gone yeah. through like a post-apocalyptic yeah. event, and he that was just, on top of the dragon that has been here for a while, yeah. he just walked eating into the, the, the fish. Like the fish are gone. How'd you do this? Mm. <laughs> he walked into one of the stores, and I just had to have like a deep fryer. And you know how we knew <laughs> yeah. to come here? Cause fish gone, mystery. Fish gone. He got fish. You are yeah, I don't know a how. true wizard and a mystery, mm. but I will partake. It smells awesome. Yeah, That's people are really upset. <laughs> wow, it's good. The, the reason fish hasn't come to Personas is because whatever is left mm. is just trying to feed these people, and he basically walked into a meat locker and was like, score, while well, everyone's freaking out, and he started making himself fish and chips, <laughs> and everyone is kind of eyeing him up with right, not the, the best look. the fish is still frozen, but... <laughs> <laughs> I look at Quill, and I'm like, you didn't steal this, did you? Uh, you know what? We got like a lot of weight on our shoulders. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like... We, got we are all but atoms forged in sons. Nothing really belongs to anyone. <laughs> 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 you are so wise. <laughs> when it suits me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I tuck into my fish and chips. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, is there anything you guys want to do before the horn goes? Uh, I'll... As we're eating the fish and mm -hmm. chips between bites, I'm like, okay, now that my belly's full and I'm ready to <laughs> save everything. Um, all right, cool. So I assume that we got the food because we've secured a ship. That's all good? Uh, yes. We found that one. It would be perfect for a little adventure. He is literally perfect at ships. Like, I don't even know how. Well, I guess he's been to so many places. But yeah, he, like... I didn't even realize how good it was until he pointed it out to me. Carrie, I'm going to clarify something real quick. And I'm just, I'm just talking to you, but I know that he has a perfect recollection of knowledge that has to do with ships. I get that. I follow that. That's partly why I was like, do that thing. Kind of different. 
from securing us a ship, right? Is he pointing at a stranger's boat right now? Mm-hmm. I'm not looking at him. But yeah, he is found. He like eyeing, is is yeah. there like a he fucking crew on that boat that doesn't recognize him? I Remember what I said it. about the atoms. Let's go. I thought I steal it. <laughs> like you left us because we were looking for a ship to get supplies. What happened? To secure transport on a ship. When we were you, on our you way. You can't. We can't just. Steal a ship, there's people on it. I can't hear you from up on my ship. <laughs> Are you on the ship? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's literally people like mopping, just looking at him, and they're talking to each other, pointing at Quill. If there was anyone on that ship, I wouldn't have like picked that one. I would have picked the one that was But he's the one who's the <laughs> evil expert. Like, that's that's the best he story. asked if he could find the... And he did. And I, I'm, go, I'm going around yeah. talking to yes. all the people. Like, Hello, what is your yeah. name? And what do like, you do okay. here? Ah, did I'm oh, Jason. God. I'm going to go up there. Yeah. Oh, God. I've managed to secure a crew oh. who is experienced and brave enough and who have been filled in on the situation to the point where they will help us get to our destination for free. Okay. Can we do that with a boat? Has that been done? Yes, I'm guessing no. I'm going to do this. No, I'm going to get it. Awesome. And I, I walk up there with him. Go get it. Um, so he's eating fish and chips and talking to the crew who are really really confused because he's so polite that they really want to be nice to him but they're also really confused why he's just continuously eating all the fish and because oh. he's a giant and because he's a giant <laughs> I don't know well <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's a, he's just standing on the, and they're mopping and kind of just yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. he's yeah. kind of looking at him like magic hat <laughs> yeah and so you walk up yeah, but he's, yeah. Um, hello <laughs> so uh, hey. um what are you doing with this sh- are you going out to sea um, what the fuck's going Why are you here? Yes, Carrie, we're all going out to sea. Yeah. I'm mobbing. I'm literally mobbing right now. Okay. I'm, I'm literally mobbing. Are you coming too? Wait, what? We? Who are you? Okay. We're we? the ones taking the ship. No. What? Oh, ah. Pirates! <laughs> no, no, no pirates. pirates. Oh, God, we're not pirates. Start screaming. No. Goodbye. We're not Roll. pirates. <laughs> I'm going to walk straight past him and just up to the captain. If I can find them, like just to go and like We're say not hello, pirates. please. Stop. I just talk to Where's someone that's in charge. Roll you take persuasion. Your ship? <laughs> Roll persuasion. Well, I used to be a pirate anymore. Eighteen. <laughs> nice. Eighteen for persuasion. So I got plus seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They they are very they confused, care. but they don't think you intend yeah. har- like the Someone, initial instinct of oh pirates. Is c- I'm not talking to the person mopping the deck. Is there authority? Someone please? break you? Is robbery? What is going on? Why do you need authority? No. Is J- Jason just yelling at you as you walk towards who you think is the? Ca- you're just gonna look for the captain? Yeah, I'm just asking like anyone who's in charge here. They're literally standing yelling, and Jason is standing there with his buddy talking to Quillum, just waving at you like, Variety, what do you what do you want? Are you the owner of the ship? I don't own this ship. I'm working on the ship right now. Okay. I mean, he's... where is the owner? Well, he's not here right now. He should be here soon. We gotta head out in a little bit. He's trying to move everything out. out. Well, he wants to move everything to the west. You see, things aren't quite great. He is a little bit concerned. Real nice ship. Sky's split in half. Not good. So it's gonna. Yeah. Okay, but the sky is gonna be in torn in half anywhere we go. We we've come here from Personas. We are. We're a group of people that are trying to help fix this and fix this dragon. We're actually... I mean, the thing that's been happening up with the... Yes, the thing that's affecting your waters, your fish. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah as he looks like... Mm. Yeah. 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 Good Sorry. fish, but... Sorry about <laughs> I see why you want okay, to keep so, them. No, it's good. It's <laughs> so nice. Jesus. We're wanting you to help this and stop this dragon from eating all your fish. That's where we why we've come here, and we don't have a ship. We were wondering. I was wondering if I could get your captain and ask him if we could use your ship, as it would be the best, and then he would have the fame and the glory of actually helping all the land to stop this dragon and help grow. Well, I mean, you can ask him yourself I could if ask, you want. When he's yeah, there, I could ask any of the other ships around, around here, but I would much prefer to have his. No, I just I'm just moving. He'll be here in a bit if you want to wait. That's fine. And yeah, as you're there, uh, who's who's with you by the way? Just, it's just you him. and Quill. And then as soon as like he Mincy says that the, off the ship. Yeah. yeah, you can see as you look at them that as they're the they're captain, talking like, and things seem coming. kind of civil, but it's still didn't seem like anything really happened. I look at Minxie and I go, I'm not crazy, right? Like we are constantly teetering on the edge of failure, and I must constantly do stuff, right? Like I'm three seconds from walking up there. 
I wouldn't do that if I were you. Hey, 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 guy. Who the hell is that on the ship? Um, that is my associate, uh, Carrie. Right. Well, why is your associate on my ship? Ah, uh, because she's actually trying to uh, commission it for for our use. We're actually going to track down the white dragon and uh, resolve the issue. I'm trying to move my ship. You see, it's uh, not safe here. It's, uh, it's no, it's not good. No, it's, uh, it's um, bad. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, sir, it's not safe anywhere. That's precisely why we're having to do this. We're not doing it because we like it. It's actually going to help put all of this stuff right again. The, it, is, it isn't just the fish. This, you know how the sun fell in, Ooh, in yes, two? I know the world fish. is ending and we have a way of solving okay. it if we get to the dragon. Um, and you want to take my ship into the dragon areas. Do you see my other friend there who's yes. standing next he's to the very, woman um, in the armor? Different. He's different. I say well, he's different. He's an elf. He, he, um, elves aren't. <laughs> he's oh, got yes. that. You're, yes. He's the same. He <laughs> looks the same. same. <laughs> yep, that elf. I know yeah, the elf. <laughs> so, my associate there, um... It's just he, different because he's eating all of our food. It's, uh, it's he has ascertained that your ship is actually the finest ship it at is. this here dock. And we were wondering if we could actually make use of it for this highest priority of endeavors that has ever been or will be. If the price is right, of course. Very well. Now, I understand that I could bribe you with near infinite wealth if we actually succeed in this mission, but how about this? I own a shop back in Presonus, the capital city. I will contact whatever authorities are able to use their arcane messaging. I will sell that shop and I will take the proceeds and have them funneled over to you in whatever banking institution is here in Grimsby Harbor. He reaches into his vest. You can see his hand starts to glow as he pulls it and he extends it towards you. He goes, that sounds like a gentleman's deal. The need is dire. It shakes on you. You can feel this warmth in your hand, a little bit of a spark as he lets go. It sounds good. Uh, let me go speak to the crew. As he walks up onto the ship, and at that point, you can see this gentleman walk up. He's relatively hunched, but he tries to hold himself well. His cane looks like it's quite ornate, oh, similar to the carvings. Him, like, yeah, it's similar to the like, carvings you saw around the door, with some gold on it, and you can see he's dressed quite nicely. And <laughs> Look at Mixing up. I have secured a ship. Is he so Worcestershire? <laughs> I knew you would. Yeah. <laughs> he, he walks up and he goes, All right, there's a bit of a, um, an issue here. Looks like we're about to have a change of plans. Jason, Jason, uh, I want you to take a friend, go downstairs, start getting everything ready. Uh, we're going to be leaving. Uh, so, uh, he leans over. When are we leaving? As soon as some brave, experienced men arrive at the pier here. Right. Um, if any of your men are not interested in joining along for the expedition, that's fine. We have enough people, I think, to replace at least some of them. But uh, well, I think you'll want to come. This is going to be epic. I just like <laughs> money. It's, it's going to be rad. Pretty good. <laughs> so, Worcestershire, I presume. Uh, <laughs> we can't make it a thing. No. What? No, by the scissors on your cane. I just, what, what's that word? Wind. Not with the. Who are you? <laughs> Hello, my name is Quilliam Graham. Okay. You see those seven stars? <laughs> no, yeah, don't want to so explain he's kind of listening, but he's also kind of yeah. like, uh -huh, as he's just <laughs> looking around. He goes, yeah. okay. You don't know me, I'm, I'm guessing. But I'd like to get to know you. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm Speaking to the scepter. <laughs> My name <laughs> is Mr. Buxton. I own... With a D? This ship. <laughs> he... What is... Do, do I have to say it again? No, did it know what? No, that's did, why did, we are taking did, did, Mr. Did, did, Boxton's ship. Yes. Very because good. Because then I have a shop. For a shop. For in the shop. Yes. Oh, yes. Very good. What? Yes. Very in important. Very good. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to look at you from down there and just go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. So at that point, you hear this sound of a horn not too far away. It's actually just a couple piers over and there's a smaller ship. He did mention to you he was going to take you there, but with his own ship return back and leave you. Mm -hmm. But now I own a finer sailing vessel, so hopefully this crew will be willing to drop anchor and actually wait off by the shore or something. Yes, so they are ready for you. Now, it's been about an hour and a half. Yeah. We can get to at least the start of the cave, that kind of thing. We can see the dragon, or we could dog-ear it here. It's totally up to you guys. Let's ear it. 
Mm-hmm. You're right. Yeah. As the, uh, as the very good time because experience the big things are coming. Yes. And yeah, we got a good so at this point, we're going to dog ear this page. Yes, because we don't know what's coming and we don't want everyone to die at the end of this. <laughs> so, until next time, thank you very much for tuning in to Grimm's Tavern. Uh, like, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you next Friday on Twitch, and uh, otherwise, it'll be a couple days between, and we'll be uploading on YouTube. Also, uh, Ravnica episodes are popping up every now and again, too, so keep an eye for that. And uh, until next time, see you later. Bye, Bye. Bye everybody.